gentleman next to me needs no introduction in the world of women's college basketball. Harry Peretta, a brand name within the celebrated Big East Conference. When young coaches look up to you or Doug Bruno, what would you say to them about pursuing this business? I would just tell them that they have to love it. I mean, um, sometimes you get involved in it because you think it's a business, and if, you, and if you get in it for that reason, it's probably not the right reason. Doug and I got into it when it was part time, you know what I mean? And we paid the school money to let us do it, you know what I mean? So, but you have to love it, you have to love the game, and you have to love what comes with the game. I and mean, not love it, but you have to deal with it. You can't just hide, hide under a rock. You just have to be able to deal with everything that comes with it. The word passion to me comes to mind when I watch you coach, when I watch your teams play. Where does that passion come from? I just think it comes from playing when you were younger. You know, we, we grew up in, West, I grew up in West Philly, and you know, you played on a basketball court. If you lost, you had to wait an hour and a half to get back onto the court to play. So you have to learn how to play hard. And, you know, and, and I wasn't real talented, so I had to learn how to play smart. And that's what I was taught when I was younger. So that's where the passion kind of comes from. And your team plays smart. It's one of the consistent things that's enjoyable to watch. How would you describe the Villanova style of play to those that are unfamiliar with it? I would describe it as a group of people. I don't know if you ever played up played pick up basketballs with your buddy with your buddies and you knew them really well and you would go out on a court and play and it would be like pass move cut screen and that's the way I describe it uh, you know it, it's it's a it's an I don't want to say old-fashioned way of playing I don't think it ever goes out of style passing and moving and cutting and screening but I think that's what it is it's it's learning to play together as a unit know who who should shoot the ball, who shouldn't shoot the ball, all those kinds of things. You know, I think that that's the way I was taught and that's the way I try to teach it. There's a lot of talent in the Big East Conference. A word that we hear a lot is parity. How do you feel like that term applies to this league? Well, I think it applies to the league because I guess for the first time that I've been in the Big East, all the schools are very comparable in terms of education, in terms of size, and in terms of uh, budgets. And that's the first time it ever happened. And some people say that you know college basketball is, is fair. Well, it's not really fair. I mean, you have schools that have $3 million budgets. It have, and then if you have a $500,000 budget, you have to be, you know, compete against that school. But now, the Big East Conference is a league of parity where all the schools, and I think that as the years go on, you're going to see more competitive games every year because of that parity. You've been coaching young women for a very long time. What sorts of things do players that leave your program have that will benefit them beyond basketball? I hope that they learn a sense of like, uh, I, don't, I don't want to call it, it's like being proactive, being able to like see things that are going to happen before, before it happens. You know, and I would tell nurses like you need to pay attention to like what dosage you're given before before you even you know before you even go into the room or like business people make sure you check on things that might happen even though they probably won't happen. So that's the way we try to teach them on the court to be proactive thinkers. Hopefully they'll translate that into their jobs when they get out. Great visiting with you. Thanks, Thanks. coach. Appreciate it. Tony Luffman, the Big East Digital Network.